Hi everyone, it's Mr. Simpson. Today's topic is answering the question, where do you live? In Japanese, where do you live is Doko ni sundeimasuka? Doko ni sundeimasuka? Doko means where. Sundeimasu is live or living. Where are you living? And that ka at the end, as always, serves as like the Japanese question mark. So, where do you live? Doko ni sundeimasu ka? We have already learnt how to express our country of origin and our nationality, so now let's learn how to express where we live. First, let's take a look at how we would say some of the suburbs of the Sutherland Shire in Japanese. So, as these are all obviously borrowed words, they're written in Romaji. Down the track, we might learn how to write them in katakana, but for now, Romaji is fine. All we're really doing is putting a Japanese pronunciation spin on words we already know. So, Kirawi would become Kirawi. Gaimia Bay would become Gaimia Bay. Sutherland would become Sazarando. Karingba is Karingba. Gray's Point becomes Gray's Point. Sylvania becomes Shirubenia. Yarrawarra becomes Yarrawarra. Oyster Bay is Oyster Bay. Miranda is Miranda. Como becomes Como. Karela becomes Kariara. Janali is Janari. Ingadine is Ingadin. And lastly, Loftus becomes Roftasu. So putting all that into a sentence is super straightforward. Let's have a look at the sentence structure. It's simply person wa place ni sundeimas. So for example, if I were to say I live in Miranda, watashi wa Miranda ni or I live in Sutherland. Boku wa Sazarando ni All you need to remember is its person wa place ni If you stick to that sentence structure, you can't go wrong. Ja mina san kyo kore de obarimashou. All right, everyone, let's leave today there. ありがとうございます。Thank you. じゃあまたね。See you later.